This happened in Calaveras Big Trees National Park in the Sierra Nevada mountains of California on Highway 4. There's an overlook that affords a vista of the Stanislaus River Valley. For those familiar with the park, it is where Oak Trees Parkway turns into Big Trees Parkway. As you drive from the park entrance and head down into the valley toward the campgrounds. My father, my little sister, and myself at 12 years old were in my father's truck headed up the hill away from the campgrounds, driving toward the park entrance with the intention of going shopping in nearby Arnold. As we came upon this overlook, I saw at least four or five cars parked on either side of the road. There were a good number of people standing around and looking into the valley at something. The next thing I know, I was gradually coming to consciousness from some sort of stupor or hypnotic state. It was like gradually awakening from anesthesia. I was sitting straight up and my eyes were open. I looked around the cab of the truck. My dad was driving and my sister was sitting there. Both were in a kind of trance state, not really saying anything. After about a minute, they also started moving around like normal and talking. We had exited the park and driven down Highway 4 almost to Arnold, a distance of about six miles, and all of us are missing that time. If I remember correctly, half an hour to 45 minutes was missing. I don't know if it's simply missing time or a potential alien abduction, and I don't know what everybody was looking at, but we still can't explain it to this day. I just went out for a walk before bed. I saw what I thought were very close shooting stars a couple of times. The third or fourth time I saw it, I gasped because I noticed that there were different colored lights coming from some kind of flying object. Then I saw it zoom off, leaving the very bright shooting star kind of trail behind it. It was there for a split second, but I saw it. Very bright, it quickly descended from the sky right by my house. I rushed inside and looked out a window, and I saw it zoom off again away from me. The things I'm seeing lately, it's getting harder to deny their presence. I know it's not the longest story, but I've been seeing strange things a lot, and I'm pretty sure they're aliens. This happened three to four years ago, and I've been thinking about it recently. It was late one night, around 11.30 p.m., and I'm driving home from my job at Sonic. I was taking US 64 home, which is a fairly desolate stretch of road with houses and farmland on either side. I was in my 99 Ford Explorer, and I was just driving along at about 65 to 70 miles per hour with the radio on a low volume. As I'm driving, through my sunroof comes a bright green ray of light that envelops the interior of the vehicle. This lasts for about two to three seconds and then disappears without a trace. After it happened, I just sped up and got home as quickly as possible. I was only about five minutes away anyway. That's really about all there is to the story, but I was young and it really freaked me out. I've pondered and pondered, but I have no clue what it could have been. I wasn't tired because I woke up around 5 or 6 that day, and I have no history of illnesses that could have caused that. I wasn't on any medications, nothing like that. I've told a few people and they don't think I'm lying. I've never been the kind to lie about that kind of stuff, but nobody can give me a solid answer either. Some have said maybe it was a laser but I don't think there's any way that a laser could completely cover my vehicle in green light like that. There was also a farm I was passing by and no street lights. Has anyone had any similar experiences or can anyone offer any insight as to what happened? It would be much appreciated and would ease my mind. I 
I've struggled with the idea of sharing my experience, mostly because I don't even know if it actually happened or if it was just a dream. One night in the summer when I was about 10 or 11, I was awoken in the middle of the night. I could hear the horses running around the pasture as if something had happened to startle them. I decided to get up and go check on things. At that time, my family had a massive old barn and we lived in the middle of nowhere. I walked through the door of the barn and found a very large man, as white as snow, climbing into the hayloft. I remember being startled, but not scared. He turned around and looked at me and slowly lowered himself back down. He took a few steps toward me before he knelt down and put out his hand like one would do to a stray animal. As I looked at him, I felt like he looked sad and tired and not at all like he would do me any harm. I decided to take his hand and walk him toward our kids' hangout space, which was just a space in the barn where we had some old couches, a few toys, and a radio. As soon as he saw the radio, he became more animated, ran toward it, and started messing around with it. That went on for a little bit, and I kept asking him what he needed the radio for. He never said a word, not one word. He wouldn't give me a name, so I just started calling him radio. After some time, he sat the radio down and sat down on the couch. I brought over my favorite horse book, and he started thumbing through the pages. I started showing him all of my favorite horse breeds. Eventually, he gently took the book from me and closed it as if to say, I'm done. I got up to put the book away and he laid down on the couch. I remember him being so large that his head was on the armrest while his legs hung over the other armrest at the knee. He was a giant, pure white, and I don't recall any hair. His eyes were jet black, but they weren't huge or angular. If anything, they slanted downward a bit and were very beady. After he fell asleep, I decided to go back into the house and go to bed. I put a blanket over him before I went in, so he wouldn't get cold. I woke up in the morning and the whole experience came flooding back to me. My feet were dirty, as if I had been outside during the night. I grabbed some snacks and ran out to the barn. I ran to our hangout space and found everything as I would have expected it. The blanket was on the floor, the book was sitting on the table, the radio was out of place, but he was gone. It's important to know that I had a habit of sleepwalking at this time in my life, so I guess it's possible that this was all just an elaborate dream. At first, I thought he was just a very, very strange person, and I hoped that he found safety. The memory never left me, and by the time I was a teen, I had decided that I had dreamed the whole thing and I let it go. Then Prometheus came out and I agreed to go see it with friends. When the tall white alien came on screen, I nearly jumped out of my seat. It wasn't an exact likeness, but it was like seeing a ghost of someone I had once met. At the time, I knew absolutely nothing about aliens and the only one I had ever heard of was the classic Little Green Men. Nonetheless, I forced myself to let it go and move on. That memory could not be real, so I must have dreamed it, right? As time passed, I started wondering how I could have imagined a being that I had never heard of or seen any imagery of. Could that have really happened? Could radio be real? This Sunday gone, my girlfriend and I, who live in Adelaide, Australia, had just gone on a dinner date. She is a 26-year-old female and I am a 24-year-old female. We went to her house to drop off her doggy bag. Then we drove back toward my house, southward. About halfway between our houses, I noticed three lights in the sky in a perfect triangle. It was very odd and the lights were fairly obvious in the dark sky, especially because there were also stars visible, so the lights were very visibly different. They were a lot brighter and bigger, though not by much. I pointed it out to her, 
and immediately she said, Holy cow, what the heck is that? At first I thought I might be seeing things, but when she reacted, I knew it wasn't just my eyes playing tricks. We quickly noticed that the lights were moving at about the same speed we were, and it started to flash green and red sporadically. We decided to follow it for as long as we feasibly could. It was a bit of a thrill, if I'm being completely honest, following the mystery lights in the sky, but it also didn't last very long. Maybe five minutes past my house, the lights took a turn, sped up, and just disappeared. We pulled over to see if we could find it again, but we didn't have any luck. We kept talking about how strange and cool the whole thing was. I am telling my story here to see if anyone else has seen something like this or has any ideas of what it could have been besides a UFO. Our first thought was a helicopter, but there's no realistic way for a perfect triangle of lights to come off of that, and they moved way too quickly. If anyone has ideas, I'd love to hear them. On the evening of September 7th, 2006, my friend Jen and I were driving home from a friend's house near to where the Big Air Radio Observatory used to be. It was somewhere around 10 p.m., near the corner of Cheshire Road and Route 23 between Delaware, Ohio, and Lewis Center, Ohio. We were driving down Route 23, heading south toward Lewis Center, when Jen saw a bright light very distant in the sky. We both jokingly said, it's probably a UFO. So we keep driving and we eventually lose sight and forget about the distant object in the sky. Then, as we're coming over the precipice of a hill, just beyond where the golf course is now, where the telescope once stood there, was an enormous glowing football-shaped UFO hanging right above our heads, steadily moving over top of Route 23, heading toward Lewis Center. It was the most frightening and awe-inspiring thing I have ever witnessed. We stopped on the side of the highway and got out of the car. It was the largest thing I've ever seen. I felt like an ant beneath the giant glowing boot. The object looked like it was engulfed in some orangish reddish plasma, almost like what the surface of the sun looks like close up from space. It looked as though it had flames bubbling and churning within it. I tried to take a video with my Motorola Razor, but the phone just would not pick it up at all, even though it had been working just fine and had nearly a full charge. It slowly begins to back away from us a bit and begins floating toward the town of Lewis Center. We follow it back to Lewis Center, where my friends and I watch it for nearly an hour, and eventually it begins to gain altitude in a dizzying display of lights. Then it flashes and blasted away in the blink of an eye, leaving behind a wispy blue teal vapor trail. I found out later on that the Big Ear Radio Observatory in Delaware, Ohio, was where they had received the WOW signal in 1977. This object took up a large portion of the visible sky as we came upon it. I'm an airman. I have been trained to observe and identify aircraft, I would estimate the object to be the size of an NFL football stadium just floating above the tree line highway and houses and buildings. The object was witnessed by at least five people other than myself. As it was gaining altitude, glowing bluish purplish orbs began to cascade out of the main shaped object, one after the other. Each time they would appear, they would revolve around the main object intensify until all I could see was a spinning blue glow around that main football stadium object. And then in the blink of an eye, it shot off into a flash of light in front of it, like the Enterprise going to warp speed, leaving only a bluish trailing haze behind. The whole experience was the most profound thing to have ever happened to me in my lifetime up till that point. Thank you for hearing my account of what occurred. Thank you. 
I'll start out by saying that I have seen my fair share of strange things in the skies, but one memory will always stand out amongst the others. I've done the math, and I believe it was fall of 2005. I was in sixth grade, outside on the phone with my first boyfriend. I'd say it was between six to eight o'clock Eastern time at night. It was dark outside and only our back porch light was on. I was talking up a storm and I was watching my two dogs roam the backyard. Out of nowhere, it was like somebody turned on a blue light above us, the dogs and I. It was a bright, beautiful electric blue. I immediately looked up and saw what I can best describe as the shape of an eye, but perfectly symmetrical in the same blue color. It was lined with an almost holographic looking light, a constantly changing rainbow of colors. I stared for maybe two seconds before it closed up, leaving only the colorful outline. It immediately shot to the left like a shooting star and disappeared. In shock, I told my boyfriend I would call him back and I immediately ran to my parents who were folding clothes in the bedroom. I shouted at them, I just saw aliens. They laughed at first and told me to stop joking, but my father knows my eyes. He saw my panic and quickly changed the subject. I've never forgotten this moment. We can still see it so clearly, even to this day. What did I see? Why did I see it? Can anyone help? I was 10 years old. My brother and I were the last ones off the bus from school every day. We were nearing my house, which is in the Midwest countryside. Lots of cows and trees and fields, stuff like that. Anyway, about a mile away from my house, I look out the window and I see an orange blimp in the sky. Standard American football shaped blimp. Surprisingly, I didn't think anything of it because a day or so before that, a bunch of kids and I at recess saw a blue blimp in the sky. I watched it, thought it was cool to see a blimp this far outside of town, especially near my house, and wasn't about to think another thing of it. After a few seconds, the blimp shifted from a football shape to a star, literally just shrunk before my eyes into a tiny shiny dot that resembled a star in the night sky except it wasn't a star. It was just a blimp a second ago. Not even two seconds after it shifted, it launched even farther into the sky, shot down to its original height, and then shot completely off into space. It was the most bizarre thing I had ever experienced. I was a quiet kid, but being the last kid on the bus besides my brother, I shouted about it. When I got off the bus, I ran to my mother to tell her, like a crazy old man yelling about the end times. My mother said that I was crazy, naturally, and I never told my dad, because my mom shut me down pretty hard and it killed my mood. Fast forward years later, shortly after I turned 22, my dad and I took a short road trip to go pick up a car he bought halfway across the state. We talked about a lot and somehow got on the topic of UFOs. He told me that when he was 12 or 13, he and his brothers were playing down by a creek near their house, which by the way, was only a few miles away from our house. They saw an orange football shaped object in the sky. I was absolutely blown away when he said that. My father's skeptical and doesn't believe in this kind of stuff, ever. But when I shared my story, he paused and said that it was very odd to have seen the exact same thing behave the exact same way more than 30 years apart. The year was 1976. We were living in the Middle East. 
my father was in the secret police called Sabak. It was common that a helicopter would land in our backyard and pick my dad up for a mission or something like that. One night, I saw a bright light and it got my attention. I thought it was my dad returning home on the helicopter landing in the backyard, but I guess it wasn't. But I don't remember anything after the light got really close. I woke up in bed the next day. Well, I thought it was the next day, but I found out that a few days had actually passed. My father was standing next to my bed with two well-dressed men. One was American, I think, and the other was a translator. He introduced one of them as Mr. John and told me they wanted to talk to me. I was confused and they asked a lot of weird questions. Soon after my dad took me, my brother and sister moved us to the UK. We lived there for three years until my next strange encounter. Once again, one of the original two men, Mr. John, with a new guy, questioned me once more. A few months later, on the 4th of July, 1979, we moved to the US and we have lived here ever since. As time went by, I asked my dad questions about the moving and the men questioning me, but he would never talk about it until recently when he was diagnosed with dementia. The things he said were incredible, too incredible to be true. I thought it was the drugs or the disease. I thought that's pretty cool if it was true, but there's no way. Well, he's in a nursing home here in Laguna Hills, California, and I went to go visit him. When I walked into his room, to my surprise, he had a visitor, a man. Not just any man, but the one that had met with me twice before, a face that I'll always remember. The only problem was that the last time I saw him was 35 to 40 years prior, and he hadn't aged a day. I was older than him. He saw me, pulled his cap down to cover his face, and left without a word. I asked my dad who he was, and he said to me, that's Mr. John, and remember, by safe moon. I can't make heads or tails of it to this day. About two months ago, I was driving home from my parents' house late at night on a route that connects New York to Connecticut. My town in Connecticut directly borders New York State. The town has some serious hills bordering on small mountains. At one point on the route, the trees thin out to the left, revealing a large hill or small mountain, which can be seen pretty clearly from different perspectives for about two minutes. As I was driving on this particular night, I noticed two large, slow blinking and slow moving rectangular lights low in the sky. I couldn't see any specific features of any craft surrounding these lights, so my perspective could be off, but it seemed to me to be only about 20 meters higher than the top of the hill. I'm guessing the distance or height by how fuzzy the edges of the light seemed to be and by how large they appeared to be, in addition to the multiple perspectives provided by my consistent 40 miles per hour speed on the road. When I spotted it, it was nearly directly forward in my line of sight, off to the left just a bit. In the two minutes that I watched it, it moved maybe a half a mile farther to my left. For reference, the top of the hill that I mentioned is about a mile from that road in the same direction to the left that would mean a speed of about 15 miles per hour. The lights were blinking too slowly to be standard aircraft strobes, on for about two seconds, off for another two, in a regular rhythm. They were moving and blinking in unison, which implies that they were both part of one larger thing. They seemed to be set about 30 to 40 yards apart from one another. There was no noticeable sound, and no witnesses aside from myself that I know of. I had always thought that if I saw a UFO, I would love to follow it, but I was too freaked out and I didn't do that. I felt like an instinctive horror, 
I couldn't bring myself to deliberately get closer. If there is a next time, I will try harder to overcome that. One night while driving home, I saw a huge bright light, probably a little larger than a full moon, straight ahead of me in the sky. It changed colors from green to yellow, red, blue, and then two other similar lights showed up next to it. They changed colors for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then they all became one big white light and completely disappeared. Then they all came back changed colors more, and then disappeared for good. I've just never seen anything like this, but I was wondering if anyone else had similar sightings. So call me crazy, and I'm sure some people will, that's okay. But I swear this happened to me when I was 16. What's weirder is that it happened on the same night that I had an alien abduction dream. My mom wasn't home. She worked nights looking after the elderly at a nearby retirement home. I lived a normal teenage night playing video games, messaging friends, and watching TV. I went to my room and went to sleep. I had an extremely intense nightmare that I was abducted by aliens. All I remembered is looking up in my dream and seeing my whole field of vision turn completely white. As I simultaneously heard this really loud buzzing or humming sound. I wake up drenched in sweat, heart pounding, and it's around 5.30 in the morning. But what's weirder is that I'm not in my bed. Confused as heck, I look around the room and to my surprise, I'm somehow in my mom's room, frozen in fear and confused. I tried to figure out what was going on. After about 20 to 30 minutes, I finally calmed myself down enough to get up. So I get up and when I go downstairs, I can see through the door to our backyard, which is made of glass and I can clearly see that the gate to our backyard is wide open. It's an old fashioned wooden gate and it hadn't been opened in years because it was covered in vines and was always left locked. I go to investigate and as I go to unlock the back door, the door handle goes down with no resistance at all. And I realize, crap, this door is already unlocked, which only added to how shook up I was to be honest. So hesitantly, I go into the backyard anyway, and I look at the gate, which is also open. I look for footprints or boot marks, thinking that somebody must have kicked the gate open. Nothing. I look more closely. The old rusty lock to the gate, which hasn't been opened in years, is still there. Not bent, not damaged, not broken at all. Just a bit rusty, the same as it's always been. I lock that gate back up and look around the yard. Nothing's missing. I go back in the house. I lock the back door and take a real good look around and nothing's missing. I go back to my bedroom and double check that I did get in my bed that night. And yep, I definitely did. The bed's still messy. I thought, did I sleepwalk? Did I go into the yard and then somehow go get in my mom's bed? I checked the carpet and floors in the house, which certainly would have been dirty and muddy if I had walked into the yard and then back in. And nothing. I called my mom and explained everything that had happened, and I asked if she had messed with the gate or unlocked it lately. She confirmed that she hadn't, and was just as surprised and confused as I was. To this day, I have no explanation as to what happened that night. Just to confirm, I was very into sports as a teenager. I didn't smoke, I didn't drink, I didn't take substances, and I was completely sober. 
I also remember feeling oddly terrified of the sky as it began to get dark out that evening. I remember sometimes that if I was playing football or soccer with friends after that and it started getting dark, instead of walking home like I usually would, I'd kind of hustle. I'd constantly look up at the sky feeling fear. And I remember a number of times where I decided to just run home instead because I was scared, even months later. All of this still confuses me, even to this day. In my life, I've had three UFO experiences. For context, I am a 40-year-old male living in the southeastern United States. I will focus on the second one, since it's the most unquestionable event of the three. In 2015, I was living in Lexington, South Carolina, which is right outside of Columbia, the state capital. On October 5th of that year, we experienced a thousand-year flood that shut everything down and caused major damage throughout the Lexington, Columbia area. My job requires me to be at work at 3.30 or 4 in the morning, same job I have now as I had then. My job was shut down on account of the flood, but my great and wonderful company decided that I needed to be there the next day to assess the damage, despite the fact that I would have to drive through a flood. Anyway, I woke up at 2, went downstairs, made some coffee, and per my usual morning routine, I stepped outside onto the back porch to have the coffee and enjoy the stillness of the twilight hours in solitude. It was lightly raining, not enough to mind it, and the sky was totally overcast with low clouds. That's important. We were in the suburbs about two blocks off of one of the main drags through town, Sunset Boulevard, 378. We weren't in the sticks, but we weren't metropolitan either. The sky was a slight orange from the streetlights reflecting off of the cloudy sky. Our house was at the end of a cul-de-sac. There were tall, lined trees lining the back and sides of the property. So I'm drinking my coffee, leaning on the banister of the deck, and in front of me in the sky, I can see something moving in my direction. My first thought was, oh, it's an owl, or some kind of large bird, judging by the shape. But slowly, as the shape got bigger and bigger, I realized that it looked smaller because it was far away, and once it was overhead, it came into clear view. It moved slowly, but it all happened so fast at the same time. It was overhead, over the house, over the pine trees, but under the clouds. It was a black triangle with a textured pattern on the bottom, the only side I could see. The texture is difficult to describe. Adidas makes this soccer shoe called the Nemesis. If you Google it, that's kind of how it looked. Embossed lines, perfectly black. The trees were probably about 40 to 50 feet tall, so I estimate that this thing was probably 60 to 80 feet off the ground, pretty low. It was about the size of your traditional Walmart parking lot. It made absolutely zero noise whatsoever. There were no lights. It moved as with intention, with no deviation in direction, like an air hockey puck perfectly gliding on a fixed trajectory. It was slow, maybe faster than a bicycle, but slower than a car. I don't know, 20 miles per hour if I had to guess. Once it made it over the house, I chased it through the gate on the side of the house, yelling to myself at 2.30 in the morning, what the F was that? What the F was that? In the front yard, I was just looking at it. It just quietly and discreetly skated off into the darkness, perfectly straight on, totally indifferent. I regret not getting any pictures, it just didn't occur to me. It came and went so quickly. In the moment, I just didn't know what to think. It's like my brain had nothing to reference against what I was seeing. It wasn't a bird. It was definitely not a plane. I thought maybe it was a drone, but it was so big and totally silent. It was difficult to process in the moment, but I know what I saw. There's no question about it. 
anything outside of your scope of understanding or knowledge is the definition of alien. If I were to make up a story about seeing a UFO, a black, silent triangle is probably the last thing I would have come up with. I wonder if the flood had anything to do with its presence. It seemed too wild for it to not be connected somehow. The third encounter I had in my life was when I was stargazing with my son, on the same deck, at the same house. We have since moved, though. I was playing with the Google Sky app because I am lame, and uh, it took a while to get a smartphone, so I was amazed at all the apps, even though they'd been out forever. Anyway, we were finding stars on a clear night, and then identifying them with the app. One particularly bright star stood out to the east of us, and I overlaid the phone with the star. The app showed nothing in the sky in that region. We calibrated it as well. As soon as I said, hey, there's no star there, it zoomed across the horizon, stopped, then zoomed up, then blinked out, like an old tube TV turning off. Its movements were very smooth and precise, if I were to hold up a yardstick in front of my field of vision with my arms extended, this thing went from one end to the other in a second. I couldn't tell you what that is in actual distance, but it must have been an incredible distance to travel that quickly and to stop on a dime and then redirect and disappear. My son was too young at the time to think much of it. I had heard from the wacky world of UFO conspiracies that UFOs can tell if you notice them, and I had always thought that that was baloney. But I have to admit, this thing tore off the second I noticed it and said something out loud. Pretty weird stuff. I will never forget this Wednesday night as long as I live. It was the summer before seventh grade, sometime in July. It was Wednesday night, early Thursday morning. The evening before, my family had watched the old school show Unsolved Mysteries. I awoke in the night, lying on my right side, awake but my eyes still shut, completely silent. None of us ran fans back then to aid in sleep. I was awake and basically waiting to fall back asleep again. However, I decided to open my eyes. On the right side of my bed, right there, was a being, seemingly fixated on a plush bear that I kept in bed with me. And this being fit all of the descriptions that I've always heard or watched on television of an alien. Shorter, pale gray skin, and those awful eyes, huge, black, and slanted, staring at my bear, right by my bed. Honestly, I cannot put into words how I felt right at that moment. I was only just about 12. At some point, I pulled my covers over my head and felt an awful rushing through my body of super warm, then cool, then warm again. Only later in my life did I understand that I was most likely feeling shock. I couldn't scream. I felt frozen. Too scared to scream, maybe. What if I did scream? My mother and stepfather and two brothers would hear me. What the heck would they do if they came running into my room and saw this thing. What would it do? Is it going to kill me? Abduct me? What if it already had and it was returning me? All of these thoughts plus a million more just raced through my young mind. It's awful just recounting it all. Again, how could I ever forget something traumatic like this? So, being such a brave 11-year-old and after what felt like 12 hours, I decided to try and scare it. I decided that I would thrash my legs up and down from under my covers as hard as I could. I know, horrifying, right? I was so petrified, though. So I did this and then remained under my covers, 
just waiting. Nothing happened. So I stayed under the covers. This had to be at least close to going on two hours from when I first opened my eyes and saw this thing. As I lay wide awake, I heard a noise. To this day, I still can't explain exactly how it sounded. The sound felt as if it surrounded me and was coming from outside. It was crisp, clean sounding, maybe mechanical, but maybe not, lasting only about two seconds, a sound that I had definitely never heard before and have never heard since. As soon as I heard the sound, something in my mind told me, oh, they're gone. As crazy as it sounds, I firmly believed that the sound was their transportation leaving. Needless to say, I didn't sleep the rest of the night or early morning. It took me so long to confide in my family about this terribly scary incident. Of course, they did not believe me. However, now, from time to time, my mother will mention it and suggest that maybe that's why I suffer from insomnia now. Very well could be. This is the first time that I've shared this story publicly though, and it would be reassuring to hear any other stories of similar happenings. My first ever encounter was when I was around seven and my family was all around the table. I will never forget the order we sat in, nor what happened. My mother sat in front of me while my sister was beside me. Father was next to mom and my back was turned to the kitchen. My brother sat next to my mom in front of my sister, a family of five. We were eating and then the window straight across from my dad at the right of my direction shone with a very bright light. Everyone seemed frozen, but my mom and I. My mom told me to run, run and hide. My mind was blanked out and I didn't think at all. I just got up and ran to my mother's room where I felt my mind was telling me would be the safest place. Once I entered my mom's room, I went straight to her king size bed with a huge light underneath. There was nothing under my mom's bed because she kept everything in bins at the foot of her bed and closet. The foot of my mother's bed was facing the door, while the head was against a wall next to two big windows. Then it was her closet across from where you were laying so you could see it. Then the bathroom was right next to that. Once I got under the bed, I saw that the light was still on. I looked through the cracks and it was quiet. And then I saw about six sets of feet that were not human. Then I felt them start to surround me one almost touched me by getting on the bed and reaching down through the crack. There were two through the crack, three in front, not showing their faces, but trying to reach further under. One was at the foot of the bed. Then I looked near me and saw a face that was gray and had huge eyes. I felt like I couldn't move, but when I looked closer, I saw a whole galaxy in its eyes. It was so pretty how the colors merged like a sunset and for a second, I almost forgot it was an eye. Then it moved or flinched and I came to my senses. I looked around and they were still moving to get me while the one that I looked at was staying still and looking at the closet. Then I heard the closet door opened and I saw Nega. Nega was my childhood imaginary friend that taught me the greater lessons than what is now being slowly forgotten. After seeing her, I relaxed and I saw them try to fight and then the tall, gray-like humanoids were gone. I looked at Nega, and then I looked at the bathroom to see another creature that had orange eyes that I know commonly stays in my mother's bathroom. Nega hushed me, and then I seemed to have forgotten what had happened until I turned 14. After this, I just carried on with life. I never saw my imaginary friend again, but old friend still lingers from time to time in my memories.
I'm a lucid dreamer, and I can control my dreams and my nightmares. But last night, I had a dream that was very different from anything else. I was working on the floor of my factory job and running the forklift, like normal, until out the bay door there were fireworks. It's more like a plume of light and an explosion coming from the other side of the valley. I live in the desert. We don't have valleys where I'm at. We decided to go outside after seeing these lights fly away into the sky to the left of us. Once we get outside of the bay door, the ground is illuminated like a full moon times ten. We were now in the backyard of my childhood house. We look up to the sky trying to find the light source, but it was just a night sky. When we looked to the right, there was a typical looking alien and when it noticed us, it screeched and jumped up toward us, but it dissolved into the brightening light. I woke up in a scream and I couldn't sleep until daylight. My cat, who's pretty aware as well, stared at the wall behind me for a good 30 minutes. Now I can dream about scary stuff and when it happens, I can usually alter it. I can always control what I'm dreaming about but this was different, and I haven't dreamed about aliens in over 10 years. What is this supposed to mean? Have they decided to come back? Why me? Six years ago, my boyfriend at the time, husband now, woke me up sweating and shaking in absolute fear. I asked him what was wrong and he began stuttering and telling me that I would never believe him. He went on to tell me that he was woken up around midnight to this person standing at the end of the bed. Yes, my first thought was sleep paralysis as well, but he sat up and was ready to attack if he needed to. In his head, he heard a voice that wasn't him, telling him that it was okay and that they weren't there for any bad reasons. He said he felt immediately calm from that. He also noted that he was shocked with what a light sleeper I was and that his movements hadn't woken me. This being was unnaturally tall and had to crouch a little due to its height and us having been asleep in the basement. He said that this being reached out for a greeting and again began hearing a voice in his head saying, Hello. Nothing much else happened that night as my husband was frightened. All he remembered at the time was that the last thing he heard from it in his mind was, I'll see you again soon. And then he said it felt as if time had started again, not realizing that it ever felt like it stopped until that point and then he was back in reality, and that's when he woke me. What he thought had only been about a 10 to 15 minute encounter had actually taken over an hour. These visits continued for months, minimum once a week, max three to four times, but my husband got less and less frightened every time. This thing and him built a sort of friendship from what he explained to me. It had a name, but for the life of me, I can't remember what he said it was. It answered any and every question my husband had. I won't go into what those were here. But after a while, it just stopped. He stopped waking me up in the middle of the night or telling me about it the next morning. But the times were always the same. He would be awoken around midnight and they would have discussions about literally anything my husband was curious about. And then he would come back to reality and time would unfreeze again between 1 a.m. and 1.30 a.m., having only felt like the encounter had lasted a short period of time. Once it stopped, though, I can't emphasize enough just how much it stopped. I mean, full stop. It was like for him, it never happened. It's been six years, so I know this is choppy, but it's hard to remember everything with it having been so long ago now. I forgot about it for so long and I don't know what prompted me to remember it just about a week ago, but now I just can't stop thinking about it and the oddness of it all and how it just stopped so suddenly. He's literally never made mention of it ever again 
and I've never brought it up to him this last week in fear that he may think I'm crazy. Which, I don't know why that's my fear, but part of me thinks if there's a chance he's completely forgotten it, whether it be on his own or something else, he may think I've gone insane. Anyway, if you have any ideas or similar stories, please let me know. I'm trying to figure this all out and what happened to my husband, as it's literally keeping me up at night. This happened probably about two years ago, except my memory of when it happened is really hazy and I struggle to place it on my timeline. I would say I was about 15 years old and it was the middle of the night. I live in a two-story house and the second story is quite high, so I sleep with the curtains wide open as I like to look at the stars. For reference, the window that's in this room takes up almost the whole wall. I woke up one night and my room was completely bright my bed is in the corner opposite the window, and all I could see out in my window was a blinding light taking up the entire window. My bedroom was completely lit up, and I could barely look out the window because it was like looking into the sun. I sat there for probably about two minutes, absolutely paralyzed with fear, before I decided to grab my phone and film it. The second I grabbed my phone, the light went out and my room went back to dark. I couldn't make out anything through the window, as my eyes had to adjust since it had been so bright. And once I could see, after about maybe a minute, there was nothing out of the ordinary. I wrote myself a note to look at in the morning, because I needed evidence that it hadn't been a dream. I eventually got back into bed and tried to sleep but the adrenaline and fear kept me up for hours. I managed to fall asleep eventually, and when I woke up, the note was exactly where I left it. I spoke to my family, but they were all adamant that they hadn't seen or heard anything. I have explored every logical possibility, including sleep paralysis and night terrors, and even the possibility that I was hallucinating. But I've never hallucinated before, and I haven't since. I have no history of mental illness other than depression, which I wasn't struggling with at the time. And the same with night terrors and sleep paralysis. The note I left myself is proof to me that I wasn't asleep when it happened. This was during a time when I had some weird experiences happening while I was asleep. I would wake up with strange bruises and scratches all over my body almost every day. My memories from around that time are very hazy and I can only remember bits and pieces. That time of my life is almost blurry to me, and I usually have an excellent memory. Any possible explanations? I'll cut to the chase and tell you what I experienced and saw when I was in a dreaming state, but was nonetheless very real to me. It's hard to explain, so I'm going to do my best to sum it up. This may be long, but please hear me out. My identical twin and I have had a sleeping disorder known as sleep paralysis as long as we can remember. Them being severe, we would experience false awakenings, believing we have actually awoken just to realize that we were still dreaming. It happened during a false awakening, but I immediately knew something was wrong, unlike other times where it takes me a bit to realize I'm dreaming. I'm laying horizontal, almost against a hard surface, and there's something, a light maybe, blocking my main view. I'm frightened, and out of my peripheral, I focus in on the walls, Remembering what I saw after is what sometimes bothers me at night, right before I go to bed. The walls didn't ever seem to meet. There were no corners. Smooth, metallic, no edges. Everything was curved, 
making your perception confused. I couldn't tell if I was in a small room or a very large space. The walls almost seemed to move in a very unnatural way, but still were completely solid. The word kaleidoscope comes to mind, but it's not quite right. It was like no other place I've ever been or seen, completely alien in design. If you have severe sleep paralysis, sometimes you can feel yourself come back. I had that feeling before I actually woke up in real life. I'm not looking to discuss whether or not my experience was fake seeing as I was in a dream state, although because it felt and still feels so real to me, it leaves me with questions. Has anyone experienced or heard of anyone who's been abducted and could visually explain the inside of the craft? Does anyone know of information connecting geometric shapes with extraterrestrial beings? I would be grateful for any help on the theories on ET craft designs, or any information on some similar experiences to mine. My first sighting was when I was 10. It was a massive floating ship, shaped like a huge manta ray. When I saw it, I felt like I had been on it for a while, but I shook off that feeling and ran home. The memory surfaces periodically, and sometimes I think I can remember what the inside of that ship looks like. And I remember not being alone in the ship, but I have little idea who I was with. Much later, I saw a craft landing in the cow pasture at my parents' house in a rural country. I feel compelled to go inside the house, and it was like I had forgotten what I had seen. I lost a few hours of time that day. I always assumed that I must have watched TV, but later I realized I literally have no memory of the next few hours. Later, I began seeing lights in the sky, and I would ask out loud, are you here for me? And the light would bob and weave up and down, or left to right, or it would flash brighter for a moment, like it was communicating. Again, I would go inside, and soon after, I would lose memory of what I was doing for the next several hours. This happens often, still to this day. I have a lot of theories, and sometimes I remember parts of conversations with people about my life, my personal feelings, my aspirations, good conversations about how I could improve my life, but I can't remember any faces of the people that I talk to. I do benefit, though, as my life has steadily improved over the past 10 years, so I'm not fearful about the encounters. I'm just aware that they're taking place, and I don't know if I'm ready to remember more yet. When I was around eight years old in approximately 1995, I went to visit a friend's house just up a path and through a court from my house, about a minute away. On the court is a set of flats, which creates an archway that you have to walk through. As I walked back home and through the archway, I heard a low humming noise. I looked over my shoulder to see a typical movie-like shaped spaceship the round disc shape with the dome on top and the circular lighting. The lights didn't shine as such as it was daytime, but I can only now explain them as looking like LED lights, which is why they were so noticeable in the daylight. The UFO was small, no bigger than about three feet wide and maybe a foot and a half high. At that point, I think it's coming for me. So I'm so scared I just start running for home. I'm about 30 seconds away, but the corner to the path is coming up. I'm still trying to watch this thing chase me, and as I get to the corner, it's just behind me. The low hum is deafening. I mean, I can feel it within me. I have to take my eyes off of it for just a second to turn the corner, and as I do round the corner, the light, whether it was natural sunlight or the LED-type lights, 
went really bright and sounded like a jet plane thundering overhead. I look up as I round the corner and it's right above my head, so close that the breeze it created whipped up my hair. Then, just as it had appeared, it disappeared, suddenly, no visual sign of it, but I heard that jet plane noise and low humming noise move away from me. I get home and I tell my mom and dad, they don't believe me, or they say I must have mistaken a bird. I told my friend the next day and she rolled on the floor laughing. I stopped telling people after that, but I can still remember it like it was yesterday and still can't shake the feeling that it was coming for me, even though it was so small that I wouldn't have even fit in it. I don't know that that matters though. I still don't want to know what would have happened if I hadn't made it home. So two nights ago, I was laying in bed, scrolling Reddit, looking for something to read so I could fall asleep. My dog was asleep next to me and my fiance was playing Xbox, but sitting on the couch and on the other side of the room. I wasn't sure what time it was when I felt him crawl into bed, but I instantly fell back asleep after he did. Again, I'm woken up, not sure what time it is, and my dog was up, moving on the bed, I guess trying to get comfortable. My eyes are completely wide open while I'm looking around the room for a half-filled water bottle when I see a bright flash go off literally right in front of me. Thinking my fiancé was messing with me, I waited to see what his reaction would be when he asks me if I saw something. I tell him how bright the flash was, and he said, yeah, I know, it was bright enough to wake me from my sleep. He thought he was dreaming. We started asking each other different questions, like if the TV was on. We have some beer neon lights on the wall behind our bed, so we thought maybe the plug was moved, but the whole extension cord we have them connected to was disconnected and nowhere close to the outlet. We quickly felt weird vibes, like we weren't alone in our room, and we both jumped to each other to hide under the blankets. My dog is the biggest chicken, so she was already under there. We woke up around the same time in the morning, and it was the first thing we talked about. My fiancé thought he'd been having some kind of dream, and we always feel weird when we bring it up. I know this sounds silly, but has anyone else seen any random flashes or had some similar experience? What do you think it was? Growing up, I had seizures every now and then when I would fall asleep. I wasn't diagnosed with epilepsy, but for some time, I was having them until I finally grew out of my late teens. Due to being able to choke and hurt myself when I would have an episode, my parents placed a baby monitor in my room. Also, my room was connected to my brother's through our bathroom. It was basically a short hallway, and we can see each other's beds from each other's rooms. Both of our doors were always open when we would go to sleep, just in case if my brother needed to be there for me. Now, on another side note, I saw the movie Dark Skies, so you guys can have a better understanding of this alien that I encountered. The movie alien species, I believe, are supposed to represent the greys. They're a species of alien that are known to have telepathic powers, and even be to the point where they can alter people's memories of certain incidents. In the movie, the alien is causing the family's son to have horrible nightmares. In a sense, to break the family down emotionally, maybe so that the abduction would be easier. Anyway, I don't think this encounter had to do with an abduction, but more in the sense to just torment. So, I'm probably around 12 or 13 years old when this took place. My brother was about 16 or 17. One night, probably about an hour before my brother and I would have to wake up for school, I woke up to my brother walking down the bathroom hallway into my room. I remember just randomly waking up to him walking toward me. When he got into my room and there was more light from my nightlight, I saw that he was crying. 
He told me that he had a dream that he found me dead in my bed from having a seizure. He said that it was so vivid and surreal that he had to come and see me to make sure I was okay. Now at that point, I'm a little freaked out, and I call into my baby monitor to get my parents upstairs. When my parents come upstairs to see what was going on, they decided that him and my mom would go downstairs and get ready for school early. Now for some reason, I remember that we ended up in my brother's room, my dad and I, because there was still an hour to sleep before the day started. And my brother's bed was a real sized mattress that could fit both my dad and I comfortably, and he wanted to stay with me. At some point, my dad falls asleep, but I stayed up for a little bit longer before I completely passed out. Before I fell asleep, I swear I saw a long, gray, E.T. looking hand coming from the bottom of my brother's bed. I remember seeing the hand come from underneath the bed, and whatever it was placed it so quietly at the side of my bed, literally a few feet away from me. I don't know if I'm describing this well, but imagine someone laying underneath the bed and they bring around the arm on the side. I remember that when I saw it, I was filled with dread and I was beyond scared, way too scared to touch it to see if it was real. Then suddenly I woke to having to go to school, even though I don't recall falling asleep. For some reason, I never gave a thought about that specific part, about the hand, until I saw dark skies and I had kind of a eureka moment. I don't know if that thing was tormenting my brother with these nightmares or what happened. I don't even know if it's real sometimes, but it was real to me. Has anyone else ever had a similar experience? What do you think it was? So I'm in my bed, covered in sweat, shaking and scared. This is my second experience with them. The first time they watched me, we weren't in the same room, but I could feel them watching me, and I saw their light from the space in the doorframe. It was greenish yellow. Time distortion happens when they initiate contact. Also, I don't remember hearing any sound at all during either encounter. This time was horrifying. I woke up and saw faces on my ceiling. They weren't detailed, but they looked human. Their features were outlined with a pink light. They're interdimensional and are invisible to my knowledge. I felt two of them grab my arms. I struggled physically. I think they were really latching onto my consciousness, but our auras are human shaped, so really they were grabbing the energy in my arms. I could feel their grip and their strength. They're smaller and weaker than us, but they have large hands and long fingers, and I could feel them pulling me. Although I got out of bed and struggled physically, pulling and jerking my arms out of their grip in a spasm of defensive flailing, it dawned on me that they were trying to separate my consciousness from my body. So in reality, my physical struggle made no difference. After the struggle, it seemed like about a minute or so long, they let go. I'm not on drugs, although mentally, physically, and spiritually, I am exhausted. I believe they come for us when we are vulnerable. I survived my encounter and was able to share it, but now I wonder, when people die or have heart attacks or strokes or just collapse, were they victims of some kind of alien abduction? Are their corpses just hollow vessels left behind by interdimensional soul thieves? I don't know. All I know is that I've been experiencing unexplained phenomenon, and I believe them to be alien. I don't know anything else beyond that. Back when I was a child, I had a weird UFO experience. My dad had bought a new Ford truck after his beloved Bronco had to go. We went on a visit to my grandma's place on the reservation. We picked her up and we all went fishing together and had a really nice picnic. I remember that I had this really cool Disney swimming pool. 
Anyway, we were all driving home when this huge aircraft of some kind appeared on the way to San Carlos, Arizona. It was not on some secluded dirt or back road. It was on Interstate 70, between Globe and Paradox. It was huge. It was like the size of a Zeppelin. It had lights all along its length, which flashed blue, red, yellow, and green in about one second. We were stunned. It sat there for quite a long time in one spot. We passed an ambulance coming the other way, and also a police officer who pulled over in our lane looking up at this thing. I was very young, but I was there with my parents and my grandma. My grandma has since passed on, but my parents still remember it. My mom calls the lights on the side of the UFO windows, but to me they just looked like a row of extremely bright lights. It stayed stationary for a long while before suddenly moving south to the top of Mount Turnbull. Then it went straight upwards and disappeared into the sky. The moon was out and the only clouds were above the summit. I think about this experience from time to time and sometimes I doubt myself as to whether or not any of it happened. But there were three adults in the truck who saw it and the police officer on the side of the road too. I wish I could find the other people who saw it and ask if they remember it too. I live outside of Melbourne, Australia. This is the crazy experience that I just had recently. I was outside on my deck having a smoke, and I looked up at the sky. Suddenly, two stars appeared directly on top of each other, evenly spaced. Then a third star appeared directly under the second star, again evenly spaced. Another star appeared blinking and moving toward the first star, then went down toward the second, then down to the third, and then away. It was moving very slowly, and each star was blinking in a pattern. I called my partner outside to verify what I saw, and he confirmed that I wasn't crazy and witnessed the moving stars slowly move in patterns that normal craft or satellites couldn't move in. It was going up and down and away and then back at a consistent slow speed. Something clearly had control over it. It was remarkable. We checked again a little bit later and all three stars were gone. I chatted to my housemate about it. Sadly, he was in his room at the time and didn't witness it. He said that my friend and her partner that live about 15 minutes away witnessed the exact same thing months ago. I called my friend and she confirmed that they saw the exact same thing and then her partner confirmed it as well. They even confirmed the direction they had seen it in from local landmarks and buildings, which completely matched the direction that we had seen it in. So four people have witnessed something similar in a space of like three months in our small town. Super weird. So recently, I've been having really weird things happen at my house. Not only somewhat ghost related, but also UFO sightings at the same time. I just wanted to tell a couple of stories about my first ever UFO encounter. So I was lying in bed. It was around 1130 at night and I'm leaning to the side of the patio door from my bedroom. I'm thinking for a while when I look through the blinds to see what looked to be a glowing object hovering above my neighbor's house. On the rim of this craft, there seemed to be a color changing rainbow and then a few lights around it blinking. My neighbor has this really rich friend that sometimes comes to visit in his helicopter and that's what I thought it was at first, but I swear there was absolutely no sound. I also suspected that maybe it could be a star that flashes, but it was way too close. 
If it was a drone, it would have made some sound, especially that close. I was amazed at this craft, and I didn't know what to think. Once I got back in bed, I heard what sounded like a plane circling my house. I didn't see it, but I heard it. I thought it could be a plane, but it sounded almost fake. I'm guessing if it was the UFO, they were trying to mask the sound of it or make themselves appear like something normal. When I took a look back at my neighbor's property, the craft was gone. Another story happened about the same time that I saw this other thing. Again, it was around 11.30 at night. And again, I was lying in bed, looking out the window and just sort of daydreaming. Again, I could see a light. It was glowing really white and almost pulsating. I didn't want to go see what it was in fear that it could be ETs. From these experiences, I've decided to see what it is and investigate it. I really want to go confront them. I really want to go see what they are. A few years ago, I temporarily lived in a cabin out in the woods with my friend due to some unexpected life circumstances. One night, we had another friend over, and all three of us had a smoke session in the backyard at about 3 a.m. That was when we started to hear a strange noise in the woods. It kind of sounded like a humming engine coming closer to us. Suddenly, my friend shouts in confusion as he explains that he briefly got blinded by a distant light. A few seconds later, my other friend notices a flying object near the treetops, about 40 meters away. When he points out that the object is see-through and that you can actually see the outlines of the treetops behind it, we are all just stunned and we just look in awe, in complete silence, until the object spirals away super fast up toward the sky in a manner that is certainly not possible with any known technology we have. Then it disappeared. We rushed inside, and my friend had the brilliant idea to have everybody draw what they had seen simultaneously without looking at each other's to confirm what we saw. We all showed our pictures at the same time, and we all drew the exact same thing. We kicked ourselves over not recording the event for proof, but later realized that all of us had left our phones inside while going out to smoke. We joked about the light scanning us to see if we had any recording devices on us. We all went to bed, with both of them sleeping upstairs, and with myself being downstairs, alone. As I lay down, pondering over the experience and feeling a bit uneasy, I suddenly see two orbs floating around the room. One was red, and one was blue. I get a bit freaked out and pretend to be asleep while I watch these orbs float around for about five minutes. Then they disappeared. Eventually, I fell asleep, and when I woke up the next day, I was eager to share my experience. They informed me that when they woke up and went outside, the door handle crumbled in their hands, like all of the components of the door handle had been dismantled. It was a very surreal experience overall. Aliens, advanced technology not known to the public, I don't know. But it certainly gives me this childlike hope that there's more to this life than the dull reality we live in. In my life, I think I have seen a UFO twice. I just want to know what everybody thinks. Number one, I was 14 and I was in Spain. I was looking up at the night sky when suddenly this kind of round thing flew low overhead. From what I remember, it was round with yellow and small white lights around the underside. It was really odd. I remember seeing it, but my family says it never happened but I know what I saw. Number two, 
This one originally looked like a star. Sitting outside the back of our house one night, we were all looking up, and we saw this star moving across the sky. We were all like, oh look, a satellite. We were tracking it going west. But then, things got strange. It stopped and started going west. You might say, oh, well, perhaps it was a plane. Planes don't move like that. It stopped again, then went north, and then it just disappeared. Just blinked out. Did I see a UFO? Back in 2011, on a family vacation in Jamaica, my siblings and I were sitting on the beach stargazing. That is, until we noticed this one point of light that was moving unnaturally and without sound. It had the brightest color, and it looked kind of like a dim star, except that it was moving in circular and figure eight type patterns. For perspective, the patterns were no bigger in diameter than the little dipper's cup. It was moving with the pattern and speed reminiscent of when one uses a laser pointer to get a cat's attention. 15 to 20 minutes after noticing it, it just faded away. Could this have been a weather balloon? It definitely wasn't a plane, a helicopter, or a satellite. At least none like the ones I've ever seen. I'm trying to find images of weather balloons from the ground at night, but every image is too close up or simply doesn't look at all like what I saw. My mom is very religious and no nonsense. She grew up Brethren, which is basically an old form of Baptist that doesn't really exist anymore. Despite her upbringing, she's always been interested in aliens. I think it's because her dad also had an obsession with them, but I don't know why. Maybe he saw something during his trucking and military days. As a kid, I always caught my mom watching those alien and UFO shows. She really wanted to see a UFO for herself. One night, she was traveling down the Appalachian Mountains in western North Carolina, coming from a festival in eastern Tennessee. It was fall, so the leaves were beginning to become bare, and you could see through them. She was driving along with my sister and my grandmother when she sees what looks like three to five lights in a circular shape. It's getting really close. My sister and grandmother notice it too, Soon, it appears to be behind them, very low to the ground. My mom opens the sunroof and windows, but there's not a sound coming from anywhere. Then, something my mom describes as an opaque white column comes down onto the road behind her car and is following. Like, the distance between the white column and the car never changes. My mom went from curious to freaked and guns it. I think the total time it followed was probably less than a minute. Eventually, it went away without a trace. When my mom finally got home that night and told me about it, I thought she would be excited, but it nearly scared her to death. She said she had always wanted to see a UFO, but that once she did, the experience left her terrified. I remember she complained about being unable to sleep for the next few nights. This was 10 or so years ago, but she still doesn't seem to talk about aliens with such frequency anymore. This isn't my story, but it's something that happened to my parents just a bit ago. They live in western New York, upstate, and are really open to all kinds of supernatural stuff. My dad has reason to believe in aliens for reasons other than this encounter, 
but that's a story for another day. It might be a good time to add here that my parents do not use drugs or alcohol, and they're very sharp as far as memory, cognizance, and intuition go. I'm going to copy and paste a message that my mom sent me and just read it for you, if that's okay. I just figured I'd put some feelers out there and see if anybody else has experienced something similar or has any sort of explanation. Quote, Last weekend, we were coming back from Jamestown. Dad and I saw a frickin' UFO or something. Between Randolph and Steenberg, there was this huge, really bright light blinking on and off in the sky directly in front of us, and it was falling from the sky, except it was shooting directly downward. I thought it was a falling star at first, but after it blinked repeatedly, I thought, that is not a falling star. And even though I thought that it might have been a plane, I knew that it was too bright and going too fast to be one. Plus, as far as I know, planes don't make a habit of going straight down. Then all of a sudden, it was gone, like mid-sky. And I thought, well, it must have gone behind a hill or a mountain or into the trees. So right then I said, did you see that? And dad goes, what the F was that? He said that he was thinking the same things that I was. And at the same time, we both noticed there are no hills. There is no mountain. There's nothing for this thing to go behind. It was just cornfields and open space. This thing just disappeared. Next thing you know, it was directly behind us, mid-sky, and it shot directly upward, back up into the sky. I was looking out my rearview mirror, and it lit up the whole sky, like an aura all around. But the brightness of it was still really bright white. Dad was turned around watching it, and it started following us. We had that same eerie feeling we had when we saw the Bigfoot that one time, and we were saying, what the F is that? All of a sudden, it just disappeared. They have no idea what it was that they experienced. And yes, they do also have a Bigfoot sighting, but that's a story for another day as well. Either way, they've been trying to figure out what in the world they saw. So I thought I'd share their story and see if anybody else had any ideas. This happened three to four years ago, and I've been thinking about it recently. It was late one night, around 11.30 p.m., and I was driving home from my job at Sonic. I was taking US Route 64 home, which is a fairly desolate stretch of road, with houses and farmland on either side. I was in my 99 Ford Explorer, and I was just driving along around 65 to 70 miles per hour, with the radio on low volume. As I'm driving, through the sunroof comes a bright green ray of light that envelops the interior of my vehicle. This lasts for about two to three seconds. Then, it disappears without a trace. After that happened, I just sped up and got home as quickly as possible. I was only about five minutes away. That's really about all there was to it, but I was really freaked out. I have pondered and pondered, but I have no clue what that could have been. I wasn't tired because I woke up at around five or six that day, and I have no history of any illnesses that could have caused this. I wasn't on any medications. I've told a few people, and I don't think that they believe I'm lying. I've never been the kind to lie about that kind of thing, but no one can give me a solid answer either. Some have said maybe it was a laser, but I don't think there's any way a laser could completely cover my vehicle in green light like that. There was a farm that I was passing by, but it wasn't lit and there were no street lights. I have no idea what it was that I encountered. I 
I can't quite understand this one myself, so maybe you guys can help. This was on the 11th of July, 2019. My boyfriend and I, he's now my husband, were camping in the mountains, very high up. This area is so high up and remote that there is virtually no light pollution, so you can see almost every star in the sky when it's a clear night, like this one was. We were just relaxing, staring at the stars, usual romantic things you do in the mountains, when we started noticing the stars acting very differently. They appeared to zigzag and go upward, almost like they were playing with one another, weaving near each other and away again in circular motions. We were just amazed by it all and couldn't take our eyes off the sky. This went on for about two to three solid hours. That wasn't the strangest part though. Where we were camping, there was a clear view of an opening between two other mountains. At around 2 a.m., maybe 3, I noticed this bright light between the two mountains. It was really bright, so I nudged my partner to look over too. We were staring at this massive white-yellow looking star go upward quickly, then noticed it was going toward us. My partner is a man that isn't easily scared, and this really scared him to the point that he nearly broke my nose trying to hide fully in the tent with both of us screaming as this star just stopped right above us. When it was above us, right before we both panicked, it seemed to have a diamond type shape and it was super bright. But that isn't the strangest part. When we were in the tent, the light didn't shine through the tent. This thing didn't make a single noise so it wasn't a drone or anything like that. It was far too big. And what seemed like seconds later, we were both calm looking at the stars again, like nothing happened until sunrise. If both of us hadn't experienced this, if it was just one of us, I could try to make an excuse for it. But we both confirm each other's stories and saw the same exact thing, and I can't explain it. To top it all off, when I'm talking about it, or in this case typing, it feels like I'm lying and my partner feels the same way, like it never happened. It feels like I'm making it up, and the more I try to remember about that night, the more I can't remember. And he feels the same way too. It's like whenever I go to tell my story, something is actively trying to get me to believe that I didn't see what I saw or to stop talking about it. Has anyone else ever experienced anything like this? Does anyone have some answers? I'd love to know.